The U.S. attorney says that $8 million could have been used to improve commuter rail service and said the funds uh, went to a, an assistant chief engineer and another man who crafted this scheme. Keolis, the company that runs the commuter rail for the MBTA, the victim of fraud over seven years. $8 million stolen in what the head of the FBI in Boston says is a clear-cut case of greed. Is there anything no you'd like comment. to say to the commuting public? No comment, no comment. The fraud allegedly run by John Pigsley, the former assistant chief engineer for Keolis. The 58-year-old from Beverly did not make any comment after being charged in court with wire fraud and tax evasion. The federal criminal complaint points to Pigsley and another defendant. They're accused of purchasing equipment and services for the company, then submitting fake and inflated invoices. Some of the goods going to Pigsley and friends, including nine trucks, most of them Ford pickups, worth $470,000. Doors and windows for Pigsley's home at $110,000. 24,000 in designer cabinets for the defendant's friend and a camper at a cost of 54,000. Federal prosecutors also allege that Pigsley ordered copper wire billed to Keolis, which he then sold for cash, totaling four and a half million dollars. In a statement, Keolis says in part, we took immediate action to investigate and ultimately suspended and then terminated the employee. Our priority was to ensure that our partners at the MBTA were not harmed in any way and we reimburse them for any related goods and services. Now, the federal criminal complaint also says that one of the ways Pigsley allegedly avoided being detected is that he kept those invoices to small enough amounts that they did not require any supervisor approval. Live at the federal courthouse, Sarah Conji, WCVB.